Hey guys, this is Lee here. Have you ever wondered how old your sunfish was? Have you ever tried to figure it out? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how to figure out how old your sunfish is. So many boats were made ever since the first sunfish predecessor was made, and that was back in 1945. So if you sailed one of those sailfish when they were brand new and you were an adult, let's just say you're pretty experienced. So from the sailfish to the sunfish, the sunfish was first made in 1952, and they were also made out of wood and didn't have any types of serial numbers to age them. When the sunfish first came out, that was back when Happy Days was set back in 1952. Those wooden boats also didn't have serial numbers. Three years later in 1955, they decided to start using serial numbers and they began with number 500 and they ended the 1955 year with 800. But most of us are not going to see those boats and most of the people who have sunfish or want to know the age of the sunfish and to figure out the birthday of the sunfish, I'm going to tell you the easiest way to do it. And that's just go to the back of the boat, look on the right side, which is basically the transom is the back of the boat and the right side is the starboard side, and look at the serial number or the HIN, which is the whole identification number, and look at the last two digits. The last two digits generally tell you the year that the sunfish was made. Many times when you look at a sunfish, they actually might be upside down. So it's not the right side of the boat now, it's the starboard side, or if it's upside down, the left side, and you have to look kind of upside down to see the number. So that's the easiest way to find out the age of your sunfish. However, not all sunfish have HIN numbers on their transom. Now what do you do? Now when a certain time that they were made, they put these plates on top of the deck and those plates generally had serial numbers. At the end of this video, I'm going to put a chart on the video that will tell you which serial numbers go with what year. Now, one thing you should know about these serial numbers, the HIN number or the VIN, is that the last two digits might have a letter on them. I'll explain later on in the video what that letter is going to mean. The last two digits are in the 70s or 80s or 90s. Those are from the 1900s. Now, if it's an 05 or an 07 or a 10, those are not from 1910 or 1905, those are from the year 2000. So if you have a double zero, that's a 2000 boat, a zero one, that's a 2001 boat, all the way up to 2022. All the way up to 22, which means the year of the boat is 22. However, one should know that most of the numbers are model year numbers, just like cars. So for instance, the Sunfish World's 50th anniversary boat that was sailed in Sarasota in 2021 actually had a 2022 number. It actually had a 22 number, which means it was a model year 2022, but they actually were made in 2021. But wait, there's more. There's other ways to figure out the age of their Sunfish. Now, like I said before, look at the plate and look for the serial number. At the end of the video, I'm gonna list the chart and then you can figure out the, the number and, your, and the year that it was manufactured. Just so you know, HIN numbers or whole identification numbers were first used in 1973. So if you do see a sunfish with a whole number, the oldest it's going to be is 1973. Now here's some hints and tricks to try to just look at the boat and estimate how old the boat is. For instance, look at the boat. Is there a storage compartment in the footwell or a cubby hole in the rear of the cockpit? If there's no cubby hole in the rear of the cockpit, you could pretty much safely say that boat was made from 1970 and earlier. And in 1969, the company AMF bought Alcourt and put cubby holes in Sunfish. But wait, there's more. Like I said, at the end of the video, I'm going to offer a chart for the people who have metal plates and serial numbers on them. If you have a plate with a serial number on it, I consider those cells the baby boomer Sunfish. Before I forget, I'd like to thank all the people who have smashed that like button, subscribed. So if you haven't done it already, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section down below. I read all the comments and I appreciate it. So by just looking at a sunfish, some people can just take a look at it and narrow down the age of the sunfish pretty accurately. And I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks on how to figure this out. 
Now the Sunfish sailboat has went through an evolution with design changes and they went from metal rails to rounded fiberglass rails, no cockpits to cockpits to cubby holes, and they even changed the rigging and the rudder. So knowing all this and when they changed it can help you identify the age of the Sunfish. So like I said, if you have a Sunfish that has no cubby hole in the cockpit, you got a baby boomer sunfish. So if you have an aluminum railed sunfish with a cubby hole on it, I call those the Generation X or the Gen Xer sunfish because those were born in 1971 and they go all the way up until 1987 when the rolled deck was introduced. Now, if you have one of these newer rolled deck sunfish and they have a sunfish slash laser sticker on them, I'll call those the millennial sunfish because those were born those were born between 1991 and introduced all the way to 1996. So I want to tell you about the rudders. If you have a new rudder with the pin and the spring, those were introduced in about 1972. And these go into a gudgeon bracket. But the older rudders that have the hinge and it has a little screw that you tighten them down with and they don't really kick up well those are earlier than 1972 however if you see one of these guys and without a cubby hole it doesn't mean it's 1972 or earlier because it's been very popular to retrofit the gudgeon bracket on an older boat so don't just go by the gudgeon brackets and think it's a new boat Look for other things, and especially if it's if it has no cubby cabin, but it has this, you could assume that it's a that it's a baby boomer boat. So those are just a few things that you can use just to look at a boat and to figure out the vintage of the boat. I'm going to go over some details on the HIN number and what these numbers mean, and you could really specifically figure out when the boats were born. So in the 70s and 80s. Most of the time you'll see an HIN number and they'll have the manufacturer first and that's AMF. So you'll have AMF, a series of numbers, and then you'll have the letter M. The M means it's a model year, meaning like I said before with the Sarasota being a 22, but it was made in 21. And just like cars do, you could buy a 2023 or even a 2024 in 2022 just because it makes the that's what the car manufacturers use as a model year. It's kind of like, it's kind of like lying a little bit to make things younger. So if you have an older boat from 1972 to 1984, what I call the Gen X boats, is they had two systems. They had the model year, which has that M before the two last digits that decode the year, and then they have a letter afterwards. So the M means the model year, which is very typical on a sunfish. And after the last two digits on the right, the numerical digits, there's a letter. And that letter indicates the month of the year that it was manufactured. There's also a straight year, and the straight year means that is the date that it was actually physically made. So it doesn't change years. Now in late 1984, the HIN numbers changed again. And now they went to the new HIN system, which did the manufacturer code, like AMF, and then a string of serial numbers. Then they had a letter after the serial number. And that letter after 1984 or late 1984 means that letter indicated the month that was made. You have a digit saying the year of production. And then the last two digits were the model year. So for instance, if you had a model year of 1987 and it was made in 1987, the year that it was produced is seven. If it was produced in 1986, they'll have the year produced number as six, eight, seven. Eight, seven would be the model year. Yes, it's kind of confusing, and I'll put a chart up at the end of the video. So if you got anything from this video, please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you think someone else could be using this information on the video, please share it with them, and I really appreciate it. Now, here up here, I think I'm going to put the chart, or maybe I'll put the charts here. I'll put the charts here, and hopefully that'll, that'll come out. And I'll leave it sitting there for a while so you, or you could just pause it. All right? So 
Thanks a lot for watching the video. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you on the water. Good, I see you over there in the corner of the dance floor, and I know I know you acting shy, looking at the corner of your eyes. So I pick my heart up off the floor, move my feet closer to yours, catch my breath, and I say, I'm the one you're looking for. I'll be your king Show you everything that you've been missing Short it to come on, come on Dance a little dance Got me in a trance and just one plan So don't wait no more I'm me, I'm more I'm the one you're looking for Short it